Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and in this video we are checking out the Zipfire Survival Gadget from Shomer Tech. We're gonna see exactly what this has to offer in order to find out if it is right for your everyday carry, outdoor adventure, or next tactical mission. Also, before we begin with this review, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss new gear reviews helping you upgrade your own everyday carry. With that being said, let's ignite this review. This Zipfire gadget comes in with an overall length of 2.75 inches and it also is kind of square in shape measuring in 0.35 by 0.35 inches. It is made from a textured black coated rubber outer and it also has a plastic insert. What I do enjoy is these serrations here that kind of aid in deploying this from wherever you choose to store it. It is also held in place by friction and it is not coming loose unless you give it a good solid tug. On this gadget there is a black Kevlar cord for additional mounting options and I do like that it is coated for additional UV protection. As the zip fire name may suggest, you get a two inch ferro rod to get some fires going. Now this is coated for additional protection for the elements. You also get two inch jute cordage coated in wax and there's also an exacto blade that doubles as a fire starting scraper. You also have the ability to carve small pieces of wood to get any sort of kindling going and of course any additional escape and evasion needs that you may have. With the ferro seam rod, you can essentially get a fire going in any sort of weather conditions. Whenever I venture into the outdoors, I absolutely love having at least three ways to start a fire. Typically, this is in the form of stormproof matches, a good sturdy lighter, and of course, a ferro seam rod. What I feel this gadget really has going for it is the discreet package that it comes with. Weighing in at just 0.5 ounces, you can easily attach it to your jacket or some sort of outdoor survival gear, such as a backpack or even one of those VanQuest gear maximizer organizer gear packs. When you compare this to other sorts of fire starting material, sometimes Zippo lighters will run out of fuel, such as that butane fuel, or if you compare this to a Bic lighter, if you accidentally press this down or it gets jammed inside of your pack, it can leak all of that fuel. What the Ferrisium rod offers you is a very reliable way of being able to start a fire. And what I mean by this is if you compare this to a Zippo lighter or even a Bic lighter, if it gets crushed, it's going to leak that fuel. No matter what happens to this Ferrisium rod, if it gets submerged underwater, you're going to be able to ignite a fire and get some sparks going with a sharp 90 degree spine. I also love that wax covered jute twine that's in there so you can use this as a wick if you needed to carry a flame or you can also just break it apart and use this to catch those sparks coming off of that ferro rod. If you are brand new to everyday carry and outdoor survival or bushcraft, typically ferro seam rods will come covered and this is to help protect them against the elements. So what I do recommend is scraping off that outer cover so you can quickly access those shavings in order to spark a fire. What I really like is the added benefits of this exacto blade that comes with. Of course it has that 90 degree spine, but if you are in an escape and evasion situation, you can use this to cut through non metallic restraints such as rope, zip ties, and duct tape. Personally, I enjoy that there is additional room to customize this kit. For example, I found that you can easily add a micro chem light for any sort of no light or low light situations. But of course, if you're going into more escape and evasion type, you can throw in an advanced handcuff key or of course a micro shim saw if that was something that you were interested in adding. Something I do enjoy about this kit is that there is no rattle. It is very silent. Again, if you're into any sort of hiking, camping, or outdoor adventure, this is going to be a great addition addition to throw onto your jacket as a zipper pool or add it to any sort of backpack or fishing gear that you may have as just a mindful thing. That way you know you have it on you but it's just not going to take up any room and it weighs in at just 0.5 ounces so it's extremely lightweight and very unnoticeable. While looking at this in any sort of tactical situation as we kind of mentioned that you could use this for some sort of escape and evasion setting if you needed to run or survive in the outdoors for an extended period of time. This gives you just that extra peace of mind that you could get a fire going if you needed to. However, if you are looking at a designated sear or survival escape resistance and evasion type gear, I'd recommend checking out the micro escape kit that we recently did a review on. Is this the most effective everyday carry tool? No. However, I really see this coming in clutch for outdoor survival, just being able to set it and forget it as a lanyard pool or backpack pool. And that way you have a micro fire starting kit or survival kit with you for any unplanned survival situations. Best of all, at the time of this review, you can find the Zipfire stash for right under 20 bucks. And I think that is incredible value, especially for something that could save your life in a pinch. Do me a favor and let me know what are your thoughts on this Zipfire survival gadget in the comment section down below. And what other gear would you love to see reviewed here on the channel? Because this is for you. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe as this does help grow the channel and ensures that you won't miss future gear reviews helping you upgrade your own everyday carry with gadgets, gear, and unique accessories.
With that being said, also make sure to follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, some polls, and updates on gear giveaways. My name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical. Oh.